what's going on you guys and welcome to my channel my name is Jamira for those of you who do not know for those of you who are new to my channel welcome and I'm so so grateful to have you here we're gonna talk about something a little bit different on this channel today so make sure you subscribe make sure you have your bell turned on just so that you know each and every time I upload a video we're gonna talk about a huge topic right now something that I'm really really focusing on it's the new year there's a lot of new energies coming in and at the end of the day I choose to improve my life and improve my circumstances in a really great way. So I'm focusing on self-love. Just to give you a little backstory, throughout my life I really really struggled with loving myself. I didn't feel like I was pretty at all. I always used to compare myself to other people, other classmates and peers that I had. And I used to speak a lot of negativity into myself even before I went to school. Like I remember for example me standing in the mirror and crying because I thought I was so ugly. It's really crazy to me, honestly, just to look back and, and know that I really didn't love myself at all and I really wish that I was a different person. There may be some of you who are dealing with the same thing and this is why I'm coming to you with this video because I really choose to be some positivity and light into a lot of people's lives and let you guys know that you're not alone if you do feel this way, if you do compare yourself to other people. There's a way out and there is a way to start actually loving yourself and really truly seeing the beauty that you hold within yourself. We're gonna talk about 10 ways to start loving yourself and also 10 ways that I started loving myself. It's the same 10, but 10 ways I started to love myself. One of the ways that I started to love myself more was to stop looking outside of myself for validation. This is a very challenging thing or concept to grasp because a lot of times you do look outside of yourself and you do want people's approval to let you know that you're doing the right thing or that you're beautiful. For example, you put on an outfit and say you have a boyfriend, you put on an outfit or a friend and she's watching you get dressed because you guys are about to go out. You put on an outfit and you like, and you feel really good about it. You look in the mirror and you're like, ooh, this is so pretty, I feel so beautiful. And then you show your boyfriend or you show your friend and then that person is like, mm, I don't, I don't like that that's ugh, you need to change or something like that it would for some people it would literally shift your whole perspective on how you initially felt about what you looked like you know it's not a good thing to allow someone's perspective to shift yours so much that you ultimately start to doubt yourself you get what I'm saying that's not a good thing so stop looking outside of yourself for validation know that everything that you need is within you and also know that you're beautiful regardless to what is trending regardless to what other people like regardless to other people's preferences you are beautiful in your own unique and wonderful way that's why everyone looks so different there's beauty in everyone in everyone and it's not about the external stuff it's really about what's what's inside of you and if you know how to activate those certain things inside of you, then you're going to emanate a lot of beauty and people are going to see you for who you are because you see yourself that way. Number two, and this is a super huge one, stop going on social media and comparing yourself to other people. I think that all of them are big, let me just say that. But I think that this one is particularly big because our world is literally run by social media now. Everything that trends, every everything that people say, music, um, hairstyles, makeup looks, different outfits, all this stuff is on social media first. You see it and you, you know, you start to look at people and you start to envy people. Oh my gosh, her body is so perfect. Why doesn't my body look like that? And then you start to question yourself and you start to feel like, oh my gosh, I just look what's wrong with me like you know and oh my gosh that's the worst thing you can do because you're not gonna look like the next person it doesn't matter you're literally you would literally never look like that person because you're not meant to as beautiful as you are god created you this way for a reason not to look like this other person whoever this person is know that you're beautiful and that your beauty is uniquely and wonderfully made you know it's not about what what's trending and what other people have oh my gosh everyone has this curly locks and my locks don't look curly uh i'm gonna change my hair like no like you're beautiful and the way you look is the way you're supposed to look if you don't like something about yourself it's okay to change it but also love yourself for who you are in the moment love yourself because god created you that way because guess what 
imagine you looking a certain way and you're like oh my gosh i don't like my nose it looks disgusting and then the next day you break your nose or the next day you got to get surgery and get your nose removed or something like that like yeah it might be far-fetched what i'm saying but when you're not grateful for what you do have and and that changes then you're gonna wish that you were grateful you know so always remember if even if you have to take a break from social media and say you know what i'm not gonna look on social media i'm gonna focus on myself for this month and literally just not go on social media if you got to do that for you do that for you because Social media can really, really put you in this dark space to where you feel like your life just isn't enough because there's so many things that other people are doing that's so exciting and it makes you feel like your life is boring. When at the end of the day, those are highlights. Everyone has downtime. Everyone has a time where things are not so up and active. Like that is life. You're going to have ups. You're going to have downs. You're going to have highs. You're going to have lows. You're going to have in-betweens, you know? So don't compare yourself to people on social media number three is something i actually have done recently and i do recently so that i can be better and so that i can love every aspect about myself is to list the things that i'm self-conscious about and think about what caused this insecurity within you because a lot of times when you actually travel back to when this started to affect you, you'll realize it wasn't even initially your thought. It wasn't something that came from you. It was something that came from someone else. For example, for me, I absolutely hated my hair. I hated my hair. And I like literally everything about it, I couldn't stand it. Every time I looked at it, I always spoke negativity into it. And I revisited my past and to try to pinpoint where this originated from, I realized that it came from my peers in school. When I was in elementary school, someone talked about how nappy my hair was. You get what I'm saying? So from then on, I started to feel like my hair was nappy and it was it was just disgusting, like you know? And so having that awareness to know where it came from will allow you to know that that first of all wasn't even your thought. And you probably really loved your hair before that person made you feel like it wasn't good enough. Also, it'll allow you to forgive that person and to also forgive yourself for not seeing the beauty within yourself and so that you can start to heal and move forward with your life. I encourage all of you guys to sit and think about the things that bother you and the things that you're not so comfortable with, any features, any habits, any anything that you might not love about yourself and revisit it and think about where it stemmed from so that you can heal and move forward from Number it. four is one that I do every day, okay? If not every day, every other day. I make sure that I make this a part of my daily routine, which is stating positive affirmations about myself. I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am abundant, I am loving, my hair flourishes, it's so healthy, I am healthy, I am vibrant, my skin is amazing. Like literally just stating affirmations every day, even if you don't believe it in the moment, eventually you're gonna start to actually believe these things. These things are gonna start to lift your vibration and you're gonna start to appreciate every aspect of yourself rather than complain about every aspect of yourself. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely helpful, it's so powerful. I am, the words I am and whatever comes after that is so powerful, whether positive or negative. Meaning if you do say negative and state negative things like I am not enough, like, you know, I don't like to say, <laughs> to state negative affirmations, but like those things, you're going to start to attract those things. When you start to say positive, high vibrational things, especially things that you choose to be instead of focusing on things that you don't choose to be those things are going to start to manifest into your life. So state positive affirmations. Look yourself in the mirror if you have to. If you don't like your stomach, you know what I'm saying? I love my stomach. My stomach is beautiful and wonderfully made. I had a baby and it created beautiful change within myself or beautiful change outside of myself. I am a warrior. I am like you get what I'm saying state positive affirmations because they really really do help another way to start to love yourself or another way that I started to love myself was to implement a self-care slash self-love routine now what I do is I make sure like when I first wake up I pray I do my dream journal have some tea 
I go work out, run a mile straight, and then do my other things that I do. And then I come back to the house and I have a shake every day. And I've been doing that for the past three weeks, I think. So it's something that makes me feel amazing. I feel so good now. Like I can't do without my shakes now. And there was a point before that where I was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to have sh I want some real food. You know, if you do struggle with keeping your weight a certain way or keeping your body the way that you want, it starts in the kitchen. It starts with what you, f what you fuel your body with. And it's not all about weight or anything, but that's just one way that I implement a self-love routine. I make sure that I give myself facials, pedicures. I paint my own feet and listen to music so that I can, you know, like moving my body, dancing and stuff. That stuff helps getting that energy flowing. It's going to create space for things to come into your life, if that makes sense. Um, and it's going to create some discipline as well. I wasn't very disciplined before this. And now it doesn't matter how late I wake up, I'm going to the gym. And if I don't do anything else, I am running for my 13 minutes straight, which is a mile. I run at 5.0 for 10 minutes and then for the last two to three minutes, I'm running at 5'5 five five, and I do it every single day. So it's just something that makes me feel incredible. I have so much energy afterwards and then I can get in the shower and start my day the way that I choose to start my day. Number six is meditate. I meditate as soon as I wake up every day um, for 15 minutes at least. I do it multiple times a day if I ever feel like I'm out of balance or I feel like I'm irritable and you know, a little down, I will meditate. I meditate with music, without music, like meditation, high high vibrational music, like 432 hertz and that type of stuff. I love to meditate. It honestly, I don't react as much. Like say for example, like for me, I've seen people with crazy road rage, literally. But for me, I can get on the road, people can cut me off, people can flick me off, people can go slow on purpose, people can not let me through and I will not react. It's just, it doesn't bother me. Like if somebody doesn't say excuse me, um, as long as they don't touch me, you know, I won't speak up. But like, I don't, I don't ever like speak up with an attitude or anything. I don't allow other people's negative negativity to move me. I am not, no one can move me. I can only allow someone to move me. That's the way that I stay in my power. I let that stuff pass by me. You're not going to get, no, I'm going to have a great day today. And I state those affirmations as well. And it definitely, definitely helps. Another thing, and a lot of people might not want to do this, but this is something that makes me feel so incredible, is to wake up early enough to catch the sunrise and thank God for the sun rising again. I love seeing the sunrise. It's a great form of meditation also. And it's just a way for me to be really present and to be grateful for another opportunity to live my life. You're here one day and you're not the next. And life is way too short. So start appreciating God for the things you actually do have instead of complaining about the things you feel like you don't. You're so blessed. It can always be worse. Always, no matter what. So always have gratitude and thank God for what you do have. Number eight is I read self-help books. This is what the book looks like that I'm reading. It's called The Mastery of Self by Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. <laughs> it talks about perspectives and how you can learn to forgive and love yourself and live a happy and a peaceful life. I'm literally on page, like I said, I started like, I didn't read today, I didn't get to it, but I'm definitely going to. But um, I started, like I said, maybe a week ago, and I'm on page 80. And the section that I'm on is Modern Triggers. So it's about things that activate certain things within you that triggers you um, so that you can learn to have control over things that you do. Because the only thing you have control over is what you do. You don't have control over how anyone takes what you say or anything like that. So, that's number that. nine is to set boundaries and to stop being a yes man. A lot of times we feel like, oh, I have to because I don't want this person to be mad at me if someone asks you to do something. 
But in order to start loving yourself, you have to know that saying no to other people is ultimately saying yes to yourself. And saying yes to someone else is ultimately saying no to something that you could have been doing for yourself. So don't see it as selfish. Don't see it as, oh, I'm, I'm not a good person or, you know, this person needs me to do this. Listen, you can't fill someone else's cup up from an empty cup. If you're not doing what you need to do for yourself, you're not going to have the capacity to do something for some for someone else. Literally, you can't give energy that you don't have. And the more you say yes to things that you don't want to do, you're denying yourself the right to live your life happily. For example, setting times to communicate with certain people or giving yourself an amount of times to entertain gossip you know because gossip is an everyday thing people are talking about oh oh do you know who passed away today and guess what happened to this person and uh guess what this person said to me give yourself a cap limit like you know what i'm only gonna listen to two i'm only gonna entertain two forms of gossip and it doesn't mean you're talking bad on people it's just entertaining it you know because the energy like you're giving energy that's energy that you could have kept within yourself and done something positive with you get what i'm saying but we're human so give yourself a cap limit like i'm only going to be able to communicate with people from 5 to 7 p.m because i have things that i need to do for myself throughout the day what i did was i made it a thing to not like i'm not answering text messages phone calls or anything until i got a specific list of things done every single day like until I got these 10 things done a day I'm not looking at my phone except to set a timer for me to meditate and that's it unless my daughter is calling me and I have to tell her I need to call her back or whatever this is the only thing I'm accepting until I get these things done setting times will really help you to prioritize what's important in your life and to not drain yourself with things that don't matter because that energy can be going towards something that's really going to help you the 10th thing that made me start to love myself is to change how i spoke to myself and this is so so important if you wouldn't say like start to listen to yourself you know start to listen to that voice in your head like for example when you put on a certain outfit and you look in the mirror start to listen to that voice and recognize what it's saying is it saying something positive or is it saying something negative it's so important to be kind to yourself oftentimes we are so kind and positive towards other people and we give out all this amazing information and all these amazing uplifting words you know to other people but we don't even do that for ourselves why are we loving people more than we're loving ourselves if you wouldn't say it to someone else why would you say it to yourself you know and i had to realize that there were a lot of negative things that i was subconsciously saying to myself like oh i hate my st like my stomach uh, uh, uh. like you know because that was a really really big insecurity of mine and so i started to recognize like no i have to change this i have to love myself because guess what if you're holding on to the negativity associated with this specific body part for example where do you think the weight's gonna go it's not going anywhere because guess what you're holding on to it you're not letting it go love it accept it oh this is me this is me and this is how god created me to be i love myself my stomach is beautiful i'm unique there's nothing wrong with me i am perfect in my own way you start to pour love into yourself then before you know it if you're working out every day one day you're gonna look down at your stomach and it's not gonna be there it's gonna be exactly how you want it to be because guess what you love it for what it is and you're not in such a rush to lose the weight you're you're more focused on gaining the discipline or gaining the love that you have or need to have for yourself you know so you guys I know this was a kind of a long video but I feel like this was super imperative to put out because whether you're a woman or a man everyone has insecurities but what we need to do more is to love ourselves have unconditional love for ourselves and realize that we're perfect the way God created us to be and if we wanted to change things about ourselves, that's okay 
but always remember that we should be grateful for what we have and for who we are so that we can create positive change and not negative change within ourselves. These are the 10 major ways that I learned to love myself. It's definitely helping me in ways that I never could have imagined. The way that I feel is a lot different. If you guys resonated with this video, if this video helped you in some kind of way to love yourself a little bit more, or helped you to implement certain self-love behaviors or certain self-love practices in your life. If you're going to do certain things on this list that I've mentioned, please make sure you comment down below. If there's any other things that you guys do to love yourselves more, make sure you leave that in the comments below. I want my comment section to be a positive communication outlet for us to be able to be there for each other because oftentimes we always feel like we're going through things alone and I want you guys to know that you are not alone if you ever want to talk if you ever have something important that you want to say make sure you leave it in the comment section below that really does help me it really does help me to leave a like on my video and subscribe so that you guys can start to see more of my videos and you know every time I post because I'm gonna do a lot more videos like this but I love you guys so so much thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will catch you guys in my next video